ba da ba da ba and we're live! Now send live tweet. Ba -ba -ba. Does that mean you're live tweeting? I am live tweeting for that one brief second. Uh, but we're live! We're playing Mega Karuba Game 2 of Jin Cant 2017. So, if you missed yesterday's stream, um, basically what this is, is this is the second annual Mega Karuba game. So last year, a tradition was started where Karuba was played with the internet. Um, and Karuba is a game that, that is from Haba, and it released, uh, I believe, in 2015. And it's a tile placement game. It's awesome. It's like bingo jungle adventure, and I love it. Um, and I am Tiffany Kairos. This is Steve Kairos. And we're going to play with you. And you're going to play with us, which is awesome. So normally in the game of Karuba, there are four players. And one of those players is basically the caller, which is sort of like a bingo caller. Everybody else will have their tiles face up where they can see the numbers, which is what Steve's doing right now. And the bingo caller has their tiles face down. And for our game of Mega Karuba, I'm going to be the bingo caller for everyone watching. So if you're playing along, you do not need to worry about the color situation. I will do that for you. I'm going to quickly teach everyone how to play Karuba, including the minor variants that we're doing for this Mega Karuba game. And then we're going to jump in and stop playing. Very excited. Yeah. So, um, just like yesterday's game of Karuba, there is a prize. So, if you would like to enter to win, Haba, the sponsor of the stream, thank you, Haba, is giving away a $40 gift card to Haba Online, Haba's website. So, one lucky player of this Mega Karuba game will win that gift card. And I mean this Mega Karuba game, because yesterday's game also had a gift card. That's right, two chances to win, one yesterday, one today. So, yeah. There was has to be two chances to win. There's two, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Um, hello everybody in chat again. I see we have some repeats, which is awesome. But I'm gonna really quickly just teach you how to play the game. So I have over here set up my lovely board. So I go ahead, I have my tiles face down because I'm the one doing the bingo collar. Everybody else is gonna have their tiles face up. And you want your tiles face up in a way that makes it easy to find each individual number. Steve, um, I'm not gonna show you on the camera because that'd be <laughs> annoying, but Steve has arranged his tiles all in giant six by six cube in numeric order so he can find his numbers. Sometimes they suggest you just put the numbers around the board, whatever works for you. You're also gonna need the gemstones to be within easy reach of everybody playing. And each player is going to need one adventurer and one temple of every color. So what we're gonna do is we're going to randomly place the adventurers and the temples around the edge of the board and the goal of the game is to collect points by either collecting gems as they get put in the jungle or by getting an adventure to their matching colored temple to gain points. Remember if you would, oh yay this is a great one. So Mad Bonus says, um, remember if you would like to be entered into the Haba USA, um, Mad Bonus, let me fix that for you. Um, doo -doo -doo. Can I make Oh, I can't make you an admin, Madbona. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to, Madbona uh, just copied over a link in Twitch, and I'm going to post it there. So if you would like to enter to win, you're going to take a picture of your board with your score, and you're going to tweet it at Hobby USA, or you're going to put a comment on the BGG Guild thread. That's how you enter. If you're watching this on YouTube, there is information down below in the doobly-doo that explains all of this. Twitch. You're probably better off going to um, gincant.com slash megakaruba to figure that out. Okay, anyway. So, uh, the goal of the game is to get the most points, and you get a lot of points. Well, the fastest way to get points is to get your adventures to their matching colored temples. Um, we're going to do a variant for this game, because normally you have these tokens one full set for each temple that goes from five to two. And essentially the first player to get the brown adventure to the brown temple would get five points, and then the next player four, and then three, and then two. That is somewhat impossible to track on the internet. So instead what we're gonna have is, we're gonna have timed temple points. 
So I have divided my tile stacks, which have been shuffled, into four piles of nine tiles each. And essentially, for the first stack of tiles, if you get an adventure to a corresponding temple while we're still working on that stack, you'll get five points. Then the next stacks will be four points, three points, and then two points. So there is a little bit of a timing mechanic. Um, so that's how we're going to do this to make it work for the whole internet. So I'm going to now talk about how we play. So um, let's go, let's talk about the tile placement. So I'm going to every round draw a tile. I will say the tile number aloud, so 13, and I'm going to have a camera set up that will show you this tile so it's easier for you to see it if you're more visual. If the tile has a gem on it, you're going to take the gem, if you place it in the jungle, and put the gem on the tile. However, you could also discard the tile. I'll talk about that in a second. If you decide to place the tile in your jungle, you can place it anywhere you want. You could place it here, you could place it here. You can place it on any free spot, so a spot you have not already put a tile. You cannot, however, put a tile halfway between a grid spot hanging off of the board or grid area. It needs to be fully on a grid space. If you already have tiles on the board, there's no requirement for you to place a tile adjacent to a previously placed tile. You can place them wherever you'd like. The only requirement um, in regards to where it is placed is you cannot rotate a tile. The tile number always needs to be in the upper left corner of the tile when you place it. So let's say this situation is happening, right? I can always place wherever I would like. When you place a tile on the board, if it has a gym depicted, don't forget to put the gym down. Um, here we go, this is a great example. You can also place a tile such that a path would be impossible to do. Like, this is a legal placement. You can do this. Um, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. You can have paths that are basically dead ends. All right, so let's do some examples of the other stuff. So let's say I kind of have this situation going on, and let's say I draw a tile, and it's four, and I don't want to place four. So the other option that I can do is I can discard the tile and gain movement points for my adventurers. So if I say I have an adventurer here, I can discard this tile and I will get movement points equal to the number of exits on the tile. This tile would give me two movement points. I can use both of those movement points or I can forfeit the movement and just move zero to one spaces. So, for example, if I discarded that four tile, I'll go two spaces, one, two. Because I stopped my movement on a tile that has a gem, I've earned that gemstone and I'm just gonna put it on the face of the adventurer that earned that gemstone. Let's say on the next turn, it's an 11. I don't want to place the 11. I can discard this 11, which will give me three movement because one, two, three. And by discarding that, I can move my adventure up to three spots. However, if I want this gym, I have to stop my movement there. So I could just move one, forfeit the rest of my movement, so no longer move, and then I would earn that gemstone for that adventure. So, those are basically your options when a tile is drawn. It's pretty straightforward. And yeah, so any questions on that? I also realized I like messed up my beautifully shuffled <laughs> stacks. Uh, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, doo, doo, doo. just gonna quickly check chat. Hey, Sammy S. Yes. Oh, and like where, how do I, how do I make sure the tiles are evenly put back? I think that's, I think that'll work. Super hole. Yeah, no, yeah. it works. They're even. Shut sure, even. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do setup. So normally when you're playing Karuba, you would take turns with the players that are you're playing with to randomly place the adventures. So I would be like, oh, I'm going to put the yellow person on this spot, and then Steve would get to pick one token that he would like to place. But because that would take too long with chat, what we're gonna do instead is we're going to do random placement using dice. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Sammy S asks if it's not too late to enter for yesterday's contest. If you play with yesterday's video, and Sammy, you were playing yesterday. If you took a picture of your board yesterday while you were playing, I believe you can enter with yesterday's board um, still. 
but you couldn't enter today's board and today's score into yesterday's contest, if that makes sense. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna roll dice and adventurers must always go on the beach spots and the temples will always go in the jungle. And um, because there's no one, I'm rolling two dice, basically the 10 spot, it will be a 12 uh, and then it'll be two, three, four, so on and so forth. The other placement rule is you can't, if the dice make it so this happens, um, I'll re-roll that situation because you can't have that. Okay. You could actually, you could do it two to, two to 12. That's 11. There's 11 numbers and that's, there's 11 numbers you can roll. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense to go two to 12 because it's an offset. Mm. Might as well just make oh, it right. 12. Yeah. It was easier when you weren't here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to roll these dice, and I'm going to put the yellow adventure on spot 7. Boop, boop, boop. So 70 degrees on the beach. Um, and then I'm going to put the teal temple on 90 degrees in the jungle. Boop, boop, boop. I will do the purple adventure. So um, this is going to be on 60 degrees. We're going to have a bias of adventures versus temples up there. All right, and then I'm gonna do the brown temple on 50 degrees. We're gonna do the brown adventure on 20 degrees. And then we're gonna do the gold temple on 40 degrees. Ooh, that's gonna be annoying. And then we're gonna do the teal adventure on, oh, hold that number already. Mm. It's the problem with dice that are biased. <laughs> we're going to do that one on 100 degrees. And then we're going to do the purple temple on 10 degrees. All right. So I'm just going to leave the camera on the temple setup so you can see it for a while. Um, a D12 would have significantly more even distributions. Um, I just don't have one at the moment. So it's all right. That's not bad. It works. It works not bad. Also, hello, Joe. All right. I mean, people have biases, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember, if you're playing along, you're, the main way to collect points would be gems. Oh, I didn't specify this. Clear gems at the end of the game are worth one point for every clear gem you have collected. Gold gems are worth two points. And then, for getting an adventure to their temple, you will gain the number of temple points which will be displayed on the screen. Also, just to clarify, if I have a tile here, which I'm not flipping up for reasons, my adventure needs to move off of the tile onto the temple to score the temple. So getting the adventurer to the tile in front of the temple is not enough to score that temple. You need to move the adventure off of that tile onto the temple to be able to score that temple. All right. Okay. I'm gonna leave that up for a couple of seconds more. Bom, bom, bom. Steve, are you all set? I am all set. Oh wow, that made some interesting patterns. I know, it kind of looks like it's saying ho, ho, ho a little bit. So We're talking about how he laid out his board, which is something you can't see, it's currently off camera. <laughs> I mean, I could show the internet, it's fine. You could tweet it. I could tweet it. Yeah. There's nothing saying you can't tweet it. Alrighty. So while Steve tweets that, let's set up. Hey, look! Temple points! Oh, it's over here. So this screen right here, temple points, not Steve, but like the actual temple points thing on the screen, that will tell you how many points you get if you get an adventure to a temple. So the first nine tiles, if you manage to get an adventure to a temple, you will get five points. After the, the first nine tiles, it'll be four points, and then after the next nine, it'll be three, and then two. So yeah. Each adventurer is aiming only for their own matching temple, yes. It does not help if an adventurer goes to a temple that is not their own color. Also, adventurers can't jump over each other, and you cannot have more than one adventurer standing on a tile. So adventurers can block each other, which trust me sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this camera right here so that it displays 
adjust my tile count. So bear with me for a second. Because I'm going to play too. All right. Let's do it. Um, so I'm just going to move this down. Do, do, do. And we're right on the table again. Don't tell Steve. It'll freak him out. <gasps> And then make sure that that spot's in focus. All right. So I'm just going to do a quick test with our first tile. Our first tile is a 21, everyone. 21. So go ahead and there we go. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. That's great. It's like I did this yesterday. Um, so go ahead and find tile number 21 and place it on your board. Place it on your boards, folks. Place it on your board. Well, there's now a hole in my tile layout. Um, they can cross over a path that was already traversed by a previous adventure. Yes. Um, tiles do have crosswords, crossroads. They can go over paths previously traveled. Yes. All right. Can we place, you can place from wherever you want. You could put a tile in the dead center of your board attached to nothing. Mm -hmm. So some people play, I play what's called the long game where I place tiles like everywhere with the plan that like towards the end of the game, everything moves. I tend to not win, just putting that out there. Don't put the paths next to the Velociraptors. That's a different game. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take tile 21 and place it on my own board while you all place tile 29. Do, do, do. Remember that the tile needs to be placed so that the number is always in the upper left. Hmm. I don't want this tile anywhere. Yeah, that is one of the tricks is you want to build up movement routes so that you can use movement points. You don't want to be super obvious. Yep. Early on. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Next tile. Suze says just plan ahead. Tile number two. Woohoo! Tile number two. Last yesterday's game, um, I was the worst bingo caller ever, and we had like no crossword crossroads or connection tiles until oh. like the very last round. Oh. oh no. It was very rough. Yeah. I mean sometimes the expeditions into the jungle don't work out, but Yeah, it didn't it didn't work out yeah. that time. Alright. Next up, a tile number eight. I don't know where I want to put tile number two. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put tile two there, I guess. Okay. Let me know if I'm moving too quickly for anyone. All right. And remember, if you manage to get an adventure to a temple in this first nine tiles, you get five points. All right, next up, tile 35. This is a very tense game with Garuba. It is. Well, it's very quiet when people start playing. And also, I just wanted to mention, if you wanted to play along, I think you probably already know, you can play with pencil and paper and just draw a grid and do a line. I mean, I'm not supposed to officially say that, but... If you have a 5 by <laughs> 6 grid and a pencil... Just remember to dis di differentiate between the two types of gems. Yep. Okay. Ooh, speaking of gems, next up, tile number 14. Ooh. Don't forget, if you place this tile on your board, you got to put a gold gem on it. That's the first gem of the game. It is the first gem. Yeah, that was the other one. Last game, there was, like, no gold gems until the very end. It was very bad. 
Normally in Karuba, the game ends as soon as one player has all of their adventurers find the matching temples. However, in this game of Karuba, we're just going to go ahead and play all of the tiles. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Next up is another gem, tile number 11. Remember, if you're placing this on your tableau, you're going to add a little cute clear gem. Clear gems for everyone. You're a real gem. Oh, I shouldn't for, have. For I shouldn't have. Mega Karuba stream. Shouldn't have done what I just did. That's fine. That's fine. I like made it so yellow couldn't even get to their temple last game. It was really bad. It was just like yellow was like right here, and the temple was right here, and it was just it was awful. All right, two more tiles until the end of the five-point temple round. Next up, number 17. Ah! Oh, right, because we want them to take windy paths to get a bunch of gems, probably. I mean, potentially. It depends. Depends on what your overall strategy is. My strategy is to not lose count of what's happening as a host. <laughs> like, that's, that's a very important strategy. <laughs> I hope you execute that strategy. I would like to say that I would. I, my goal is also to just beat you at this game. But I actually don't think I could pull that off. Oh, you have a very interesting strategy with your purple versus your teal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, all right. Next is 23. Um, so, this is the last tile that you could place or discard to move to score a temple. On, on five. Uh, with, yeah, for five points, for temple points. Yes. <laughs> Matthew's hoping for one of the five move tiles. Sadly, Matthew, those, those don't exist. Mad Bona got the teal temple! Whoop, whoop. Whoa, First nice. temple blood goes to Mad Bona. I think the five move tile, that's one of the ones you draw yourselves. Right? Yeah. It's when you're playing the pen and pencil game. Um, all right. So um, from now on, uh, for the next nine tiles, however, uh, whoops, how did that get backwards? Backwards. Wow. I need a nappy. There we go. Um, the next nine tiles, if you score a temple in the next nine tiles, starting from this moment forward, you get four points. Bum, bum, bum. And the next tile is a 26. Also, can we just say, like, I'm really happy that my nails look good for these streams. <laughs> Nailed it. Ah. I think I'm going to actually discard 23. I'm playing back in time. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to play. I have to play back in time. Go back to the future. Oh, Joe just figured out half the chat is in YouTube. Yes, Joe. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. You figured out the secret. Tiffany just talks to made up. Ma made up people. And yeah. you're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Eden got the teal temple as well. Oh, you haven't moved anything yet. I haven't moved you're going anything. For the, you're going for the set up paths and then just book it. Yep. Yeah. Which is not going to give me a lot of points. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. All right. Next tile. 25. Boop. 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 Well, that doesn't help me, actually. I guess I could do that. I kind of have this thing where I know the next tile being placed, so I could sort of cheat, but yeah. There's, so it's really weird. So I could pay for a service that would merge my chats, and then I could broadcast the chats on top of the feed, so everybody in every chat could see the interactions of the chats together. Um, but I would have to pay for it, and I've heard some stuff that's not super consistent. And at the same time, I don't want the screen real estate 
of the board game to be taken up by by some of the the chat. So in our normal streams, we stream Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, and we play a variety of games, which you can find on our YouTube channel, um, because all of our sh live plays are, are up on YouTube. Um, we tend to have the camera mostly on like a full screen of the board game of the play area with like us smaller in the corner, like the Kruber tile is right now, um, with just our pictures. Yeah, and just adding something else that covers it more of the board wouldn't be great. Next tile, 28. You know, I'm just going to start running for purple, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, screenshot is very distracting. I agree. I don't tend to like the streamers that have the chat on the, on the screen. For the most part, on our... Um, streams most people Ooh, Matthew got teal temple very nice. nice um most people that hang out in our chats do so on YouTube so are you ready I'm I mean I'm ready okay you're kind of like my uh number 10 Ooh. you're kind of like my barometer for how Ooh, that's perfect. For how quickly things go. You're you're asking me, Mr. AP. You are Mr. AP. But it works. I should have just said that when I moved somewhere. You just oh, killed Yellow oh, Adventure! Oh! oh. <laughs> Boulder, Ooh, Boulder Mr. rolled on Yellow. Mr. Pig over on uh, Twitch, their wife just got the Yellow Temple. Very Congratulations nice. to Mr. Pig's wife. Which is a weird phrase to say. Even got the gold gem. gem. Alright, here we go. A number four. I don't know what to do with this number ten. I guess I could also discard it. Mm, I'm gonna put it there. Gonna put it there. All right, there are four tiles until the temple point value decreases. Dun dun dun! Oh. Yeah, don't forget to put gems on your tiles. Do not. Those are important. All right, next up, number twelve. I'm excited about that one. I needed that. I needed that. I think I'm also just cut that. <gasps> Steve got the gold gem. Brown got the gold gem. No, Steve got it. But my brown adventure got the gold gem. What's to say his name isn't Steve? It could be Steve. Everybody's name is Steve. Really deep down, we're all Steve. Or Steve question mark. Yeah. That's the other option. Steve? Alright, next up. A number 19. Mm. I'm excited about 12 because I'm gonna discard it. Mm. Actually, I don't actually want to discard that. But I got my brown temple, dude! Woohoo! Yeah, I got the brown temple. Got the brown temple. Mm -hmm. My Steve got the brown temple. <laughs> Ooh, Matthew also got the brown one home. And Sammy, good job. Alrighty then. Ooh, this one's good. I'm excited for this one. It's a number seven. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. I'm going to discard number seven, and I will also get the brown temple. Did you leave your adventure? Oh, yeah, you leave your adventure. Yeah, you leave your adventure next to the temple when they score it. I just don't have anywhere for this tile to go, except for, I guess, into the great unknown. I'll do that. Into the murky void. Of the jungle. All right, last tile for four temple points is a number 31. Boop. No, 
don't do that. Mr. Pig, your wife's doing great. I'm about to get, when I catch up to you all, I will get the purple temple. But I'm not catching up yet. What are you doing? You're using those, so um, it's, you're still on the four pointer, right? Yeah. This was the last tile that you could do for four points. All right. So from now on, if you get a temple, it will be worth three points. All righty. So next up, number 22. <laughs> Matthew says yellow might need to take one for the expedition. My yellow hasn't like connected or moved yet. Uh, 22 will be the secret to that success. Congrats, Indy! Indy got brown too at Temple. Mr. Pig got brown too. Very nice, very nice. Alright, I feel like this game is slightly easier than last game. Like last game, yesterday's game, we had no connectors. It's awful. All right. Number 33. Nice. Now my yellow can connect. We're going to tweet my board. You forgot the hashtag for Mega Karuba. I didn't want to accidentally enter the contest. No, that's not how you do it. Okay. You have to do the hashtag and tag Hobby USA. Oh, okay. So I can just tweet. Yeah. <gasps> Torganator got yellow. Good job. Uh, Torganator. I'm realizing because we're playing all the tiles, I'm probably not placing enough. But here's that. Here's that piece. Okay. Next tile. This is the first one of three? 32. No, this was. Oh. Um, this, that. What was the highest score reported last night? Oh, I think it, I think there was a, something in the, like the 29s? 20? I can't remember. Can you win this game with gyms only? Um, because of the modified game that we're playing, potentially, uh, because we're going to be playing with all of the tiles that are out, I just don't know if the quantity of gems depicted on the tiles is significant enough to outweigh the bonuses you would get by scoring temples. I haven't tested that yet. This looks like 18 points from gems. Total? Total. Okay. I might be slightly off, but I counted 18. So... You couldn't, based on yesterday's score, you could do pretty well if you just did gems and you managed to get every gem, but you'll do better if you also get temples. All right, next tile is a number five. I'm going to discard that. Go there. Speaking of gems, I'm going to start picking up gems. Boop, 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 boop. How are you doing? Oh wow, your yellow's got it. Your yellow and purple have a mm -hmm. windy road. They do. It's a long and windy road. Yeah. It's the only road they've ever known. <laughs> they're gonna they're they just left on their own. Yeah. Alright, next up. Number twenty. Mm, I'm gonna just go that. Actually I'm gonna use it's kind of nice that you're actually playing this time because um, One, two, three. yesterday I couldn't see the tiles that were available still, so I was sort of placing blind. Woot! Suze is fully connected. I I fully am connected. I am almost fully connected. Wow. Ice Guardian LGB got 19 points last night. I remember that. Yeah, somebody got I think 23. Oh, the dogs have shifted. She stretched. All right. 
Next up, number one, which is what I think of you. You're number one in my heart. But not at this game, because I'm going to win. Twitch is lagging. Oh. Hmm. I wonder why. Sometimes it does it. I don't I don't know why it's it lags one on some. Yeah. Don't know. Eating at the Brown Temple. Thanks. Success. Okay. Next up. A 34 with a gold gem. <laughs> Mad Bona does not like uh, that gym style. I didn't go give myself a place to put that. No, you didn't. I, I didn't. I don't have a place to put any more verticals as well. Yep. Something about your business strategy with your verticals and your optimization. I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, Mad Bona cut off their yellow and purple explorer. <laughs> oh no. That's the word. I hate when I realize I do that in this game. All right, next up is number 30. All right, and there is one more tile to be played to get three temple points for scoring a temple. Brady Bug's mom finally got a temple. I believe in you, Brady Bug's mom. Okay. Matthew's purple made it to so the temple. All your movement has to be used by one adventurer, right? Yes, you, you cannot that. split your movement between multiple adventurers. This is true. Alright, last tile for the three temple points. Oh no. It's number 16. My yellow got got to the temple. Woohoo. My blue almost got there. I dawdled with the crystal. I mean, it's going to cost you a point, but you earned the point back. I did. So I think yeah. it's a wash, yeah. There is a chance you would draw a free, free move. I need a, I need a right turn. My teal is stalled <laughs> oh, until I get a right turn. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So from now on, if you score a temple, you will get two points which is the lowest amount of points that you can get for a temple so my hope is teal will get will get two points which they should be able to do um because again we are playing all of the tiles in the game so has anybody gotten all of their temples yet i think last time we played somebody got all of their temples by by the time we got to the the number two i don't think all of my adventurers are gonna make it <laughs> really yeah Oh no! <laughs> All right, fifteen. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, I. This is these look so far. One for two. We need to stream a superhero rhino battle. Uh, at and some point in the future. Blue is going to finish. This is two points. I've decided. Okay. But I feel like that's a one that we should... I, we got to figure out how to stream it in such a way that it shows the full scale. Because we don't have more crossroads, I can't get my yellow to the temple. <gasps> I can either only get yellow or purple. Oh, gosh. Because of the remaining tiles. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because this has to be a four-way cross because the way I built it. Unless yellow goes back. Steve has to Steve has to make a tough choice. I do have to make a tough choice. <laughs> Alright. A three is the next tile. I just keep discarding tiles. My my teal is stuck until I get Well, three, I think, is the tile. Yeah. Oof. I need the I need to get my three tile and then teal will be connected. Even got the purple temple. Um Sue. So Next up, a 
36. And now my teal oh, is connected. Torganator got brown. I need 9, 6, or 27. Ah. I'll do my best. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, number 18. You said they can't share a spot. They cannot share a spot. I mean, yeah, you could backtrack. Okay, cool. You did yeah, realize so that you can backtrack. Cool. I'm number 18. I moved one spot. Ice got three temples. Nice. I think I think a lot of people have three temples so far, <laughs> except for Steve. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just I'm just here as your benchmark. <laughs> just you just gotta run faster than Steve. Don't have to run faster than the Mega Karoo Bear. That is my plan. If we ever encounter a Mega Karoo Bear, uh, <laughs> is to outrun Steve. <laughs> All right. Next up is number 27. Hey! Um, I've decided... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, adventures can jump over each other, right? They, no. No? Oh. No, they cannot. Oh. No, they cannot jump oh. over. Have you been cheating? No. <laughs> yeah? No. Are you sure? They haven't had that situation yet. Eden's four away. I am two away from my last temple. This is going to be... I am fully connected. Will you able? Will you pull it off? Do you have enough movement? No, I have <laughs> enough movement. I can either get purple or yellow. Tough choice. Who do you like more? Mm. The old man or the young, the young lady? He's lived a good life. <laughs> <laughs> Number six is next, <laughs> and I got my teal adventure. Whoop, whoop. One, two, three. But Yellow was able to get out of the way so the purple adventurer can make it to her temple. Great. Very, very gracefully. Great. <sighs> where'd, the, where'd the other dog go? Oh, I see her. Hi! Hi. All right. Did anybody else get all their temples yet? Don't make me be the only one. That'd make me feel bad. All right. Last tile. Or not last tile. Next tile. Number nine. Well, hello, Ichi. Is, was it number nine, number ten? Number ten is number oh, nine. Oh, number ten is number nine. Yeah. It's an inside joke from our uh, top anticipated Gen Con releases video which does Going have a hobby release on it because i didn't know superhero rhino battle was coming out at gin con hava <laughs> otherwise it would have made the list hava superhero surprise rhino battle yeah well it was on my origins list yeah. all right next up and number 13 okay well all yellow will get this crystal, and then yellow may not make it out of this jungle. I mean, yellow can, can just get crystals, I guess. Even if they don't make it to their temple, they still score points. Well, I don't think they die. Like, no, I don't think they're no. trapped yellow, in the temple. Yellow. I think they just find the temple, or they don't, by the end of the day. When yeah, they and then they have up. to go back to the boat. But uh, yellow's gonna leave, like, a super cool diary for, like, another adventure to find. Oh, okay. On, on 20, 40? Yeah. So you're just going to write on the board the diary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just live there forever? The diary of the yellow adventurer. Eden got yellow. Woohoo! All right. Last tile. Number 24. I bet you already figured that out, though. Purple made it to the end. Ice Guardian LGB got 19 points again with all four temples. Congrats. Um, I think, yeah, you beat me, Ice Guardian LGB. I got Very nice. 18 points. 19 points. I got 16 points. I got eight from temples and eight from gems. Oh, wow. Very nice. It's pretty good. You know, scores may be a little higher 
because all tiles get played. But congrats, Andre. Andre's all their adventures got to their jumbles. Nice. Yeah. Woohoo! All righty. So that's it. That's Mega Karuba. Congratulations! If all of your adventurers made it, um, if they didn't, that's okay. They just went back to the boat. They yep. had, they had <laughs> they great, the boat. they have great stories to tell. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in and playing for this second game of Mega Karuba. I love Karuba, um, and thank you very much, Jin Cant, for asking me to host Mega Karuba this year. And I'm really excited that we could play two games because mm -hmm. I actually I was thinking while we were playing, our nephew is coming to town this weekend and he's eight and I think we should play Mega oh. Karuba with with your sister and our nephew. Mega Karuba. Oh sorry, Karuba. Okay. Sorry, Karuba. But we could play Mega Karuba with me from the past. Future me could be playing with me from the past. I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> That's a little the the time travel is is a little off. Are you gonna reach through a bookcase or <laughs> That was last night with Ice Cool. Um all right Everyone, oh, 20 points from Matthew. Very nice. Very nice, 20 points. Andre is playing Mega Kruba at 6.46 a.m. in Germany. That's... Uh, 3.46. That. Oh, sorry, 3 a.m. Good. That's yeah. dedication to Karuba. Um, If you would like to enter into Haba.com, or Haba's giveaway for the $40 gift card to Haba.com, you can go ahead and take a picture of your board that you scored this game. Um, and go ahead and tag Haba USA on Twitter or make a comment on the, the Haba BGG guild thread. All the information is down in the doobly-doo if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on Twitch, you're going to need to head to gincant.com slash megakaruba2 to find out how to enter in for that $40 gift card. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you again, Haba, for sponsoring this stream and for having such a fabulous prize for both today and yesterday's stream. Thank you also for just, you know, making such a great game, um, which is designed by Rudiger Dorn. I didn't mention that. I'm sorry. Um, I really enjoy you, uh, Utiger's, uh, Rudiger's, oh, sorry, designs. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. I hope everybody has a fantastic Gin Cant weekend, um, and I hope that you all play games and have fun, and if you're not playing games, that's fine. Just I hope you have a good weekend. Also, stay safe if you are venturing out in the U.S. to see the eclipse that's happening this Monday. Steve and I will be experiencing it in different parts of the Portland area. In stereo. In stereo, yeah. So, um, yeah. Ooh, yeah, Mad Bone have brought it up. Um, Welcome to Dino World was the Jim Cant Roll and Write winner um, of that contest, and it was it was super awesome. We did a stream last night where we played it. You can go watch that. Also, if you want to play the first Mega Karuba game, if you haven't played it yet, you can go ahead and watch that video, which is on the YouTube, which is on my YouTube channel. Um, if you want to play again right now with Tiffany from yesterday, so you could do that. All right, awesome. Rachel got all their temples. Mad Bona got her final temple. That's fantastic. I'm super happy. Uh, I started taking my board apart and then realized I wanted to... Take a picture? Take a picture. Not to enter the contest, but I just wanted to tweet yeah, a picture you should, of it. Yeah, you should yeah. take a picture. But I had to put my board back the way it was without cheating. Which is yeah. Whew. Alrighty. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Um, I hope to see you all around on the internet. Don't forget to um, tag Haba on your tweet if you'd like to enter the contest or to post the picture on the Gen Can Guild thread thing. And the lag is apparently really bad for some people. Interesting. On Twitch, maybe? Well, they're, they're mentioning... Oh, you know what? I think, I think Andrea started watching uh, earlier slash later, maybe. Maybe paused it. Time feed died. What were the last three draws? Ooh! Yeah, something um, happened. I have them in a stack. I think nine, thirteen, and twenty-four. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, nine, thirteen. Whoa, that's the wrong thing to type on. 
24. Yeah. In that order. 24 being the last. I don't know how to attack someone. Also, I don't know what this is doing. I think we have some shortcuts turned on. Did you miss the 20 tile being pooled? Yes. Steve discarded it at some point. Uh, it was towards the beginning. Uh, tile 20, Mad Bona was towards the beginning. Or maybe the middle. It was the fifth tile I discarded to move, but I don't remember when that was. Yep. Awesome. Is there still a lag happening? I don't want to shut down the stream while there's still a lag happening. Mm. Ba -ba -ba. All right, well, um, probably some sort of lag. That has it happened. Mm -hmm. Special shout out to Suze for helping organize Gin Cant and for this awesome event, which I really like. So. Awesome. Yeah, some people had some, some lag. Very interesting. Um, just hopping onto the stream, the last tile is still out. So ah. at whatever point, at whatever point that is. Got it. Uh, we're discussing time travel. Got it. Okay, so it's probably, it's a couple minutes of lag. That's fine. Not horrendous. Yeah. Bullies. Do you want to play again? I would, I would definitely like to play again. I don't know, I like, I just, I like the path building element, and then sort of, it feels like you kind of want to play once just to kind of remember what the, like, distribution and everything is. You're getting, like, way too into it if you're talking about distribution. Uh, well, no, just knowing how many crosses there are, just, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, hopefully the lag will catch up um, even after I stop the stream and it doesn't end abruptly for everybody. But um, thank you all for watching, and I hope you had fun. And if you'd like to watch more of our streams, tune in on Tuesday when we'll be streaming, I don't know what, something. I gotta figure that out. Yeah, still. we have we have this neat window where the Gen Con stuff hasn't all showed up, but we got through all the origins and pre Gen Con streams. So mm -hmm. I think we have a couple streams where we can pick what we want. Pick play. what we want. Like we did Rococo on Tuesday, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we we dressed to impress. There we go. Alrighty. Oh wow, Indy beat Rachel. Very nice. Alrighty. So, um, see you all Tuesday. And thank you again, Haba and Suze. Yeah. Thanks, Haba. Thanks, Suze. Thanks, Jen Cant. We're going to go Jen Cant by playing more board games. <laughs> Is there an ice cream stand at Jen Cant? There's an ice cream shop about um, a mile that way. Yeah, yeah. The con is really spread out. Yeah, it's really. Takes up a lot of area, Jen Cant. Um, yeah. Very cool. All right.